It's picture day at Grapevines. Grapevines today, I got in a photo album. Now, photo albums are just cool to look at, but this particular photo album has some things that may be worth some money. Now, photos. Photos, they do sell. They don't sell for a lot, but the ones that do sell are the military ones. Now, military ones, I mean, we can't really tell where this military picture is. We can tell this is probably an airfield. And if we can find out where the, who that is or what that is, that can greatly, significantly bring up the price. And if you find out who these people are, now this looks like a commercial airline, Pennsylvania Central. Now, those of you who are scared to fly, I think you'd be scared to death to get in that thing. You just get on that piece of tin and take off. But that's still a cool picture. That's an old Pennsylvania Central. I don't think they are still around. Look at the tiny little wheels on that thing. And then there's some older pictures. There's there's a picture. There's mom. She doesn't look happy. There's dad. If mom's not happy, dad's not happy. And little sailors and everything else. This is probably all part of the same family. Now it looks like they were away somewhere. You've, you've got them just hanging out. And if you could really figure out where these pictures are is where you can get um, the most value. They're standing next to a plane, a cool pilot. I mean, that just looks awesome. Um, looking down, this almost looks like a pose photo. It looks like the same photo. There's another one. Now, there's some GIs. These look like World War II to me, especially with this coat. This coat will tell you that it's World War II. People love to collect, especially aviation aviation stuff you can see all the different pictures you can see where they are probably get a magnifying glass be able to tell exactly where that was some of these are really tiny really tiny little pictures um a lot of these gentlemen you know they did serve and they obviously probably are no longer with us so these are just great pieces of history you can see there's a lot of photos when that's their military military and then a little bit of fun you know at the beach I don't know if you could get away with wearing that anymore, but it looks like they're having fun wherever they are. It's a great photo. It doesn't say anything on the back. This is one of the old old pictures, and it has... This is just a great picture. This is out of Millersburg, Ohio, and it does have his name. Now, and there was some cool sports pictures in here. It looks like this person graduated probably in the late 30s, and you can see the swimmers. That is not... Swimmers used to wear belts. This is a swimming, and sometimes they were full on things there. This is a swim team. It's not marked, but athletic photos sell as well. There's another military one. There's the swimmers a few years later, and that is just a great photo um, with the swimsuit, wherever they may have been. And here's a bunch of airplanes. It looks like maybe they're, it, it looks cold there, and this is just a great photo. Um, it's a great photo there. It doesn't. It just has a number on it. I'm not sure what it is, but that is a great photo in there. You find out who it is. You want to make money. You find out who this is, and maybe if they flew in a mission, people would collect that a little bit more. Now, this is another athletic picture. Um, you see, this is what athletes used to look like. They don't wear the same outfits, but that's just what it was. And the reason people aren't smiling a lot of these, well, they don't smile in the athletic pictures anyway. But they don't smile because they have to stand still. So that's a cool photo. Now this looks like a communication school. Now that is the Army Air Corps. Um, that's the symbol for Army Air Corps. The Air Force and the Army were not were one at one point. This is from 1945. Now it's later in 45. And they got and there's just some old family photos. Great, great hat. And good looking family there that looks like all the ladies and you just have some interesting thing i just like looking through the pictures because you can find you can get money for photos i mean i have a ton of photos here and the cool little photos and the little shoes and this is out of right here in worcester ohio i wish i could find out who these are when i find these pictures and i get all these pictures i would like to get them back to people because i would love to have pictures of my relatives so if you know who these people are these are out of Millersburg, Ohio, which is a little bit south of us. And it does it, it does have mother, red dress, jet. I'm not sure what that means. 
But there it is. It is a little faded. Now these are cool because this is the United States Army School Detachment class. So you got all the information you need. And this is 1943 Keystone School in Pittsburgh. You can see all the gentlemen here lined up for this particular school. So do some research. Find out what this school is. That is a great photo. This is an old baseball photo. I love baseball. America's game. There is the bat boy. Now, if you PCC, I don't know what that is. It doesn't have anything on the back. PCC, these guys playing baseball. That guy didn't have a hat on. But this is a cool, cool photo. If you could actually find out who any of these gentlemen were, or if actually one of these people were famous, this could be worth a lot of money. You can see the scoreboard in the background. Now, Moorhead. Moorhead College, they did have a football team, and this is the Moorhead Frosh, the freshman team from 1935. Way back then, freshmen weren't allowed to play because of NCAA rules. If you were a freshman, it didn't matter how good you were, you did not play, which seems strange to us now, but even back then, like Dick Buckus went to um, Illinois, and he didn't play a single down when he was a freshman, even though he was probably the best guy on the field. Now, we're getting into some older photos. You can usually tell by the hats and the dress how old these photos are. Oh, this is a picture postcard. So you used to take uh, uh, photographs uh, and then send them away. Um, I think this is, these look like Amish folk. We have a lot of Amish around here. They are literally dressed the same way, although that, that beard is awesome. Here's a great picture of a plane, and that is that is a propeller plane. So this is old. You can tell how old that is. And then even back then, guys would show off and do all kinds of cool stuff at the beach because that's just what you do. 1935, the Frank Moorhead State Teacher College. So this is also looks like a football team. Um, yeah, it's a football team. 1935, probably was. It's a cool team. Look at, the, look at the size of that football team. That is not the size of football teams. So a guy who went to college back then, a lot of these guys went ahead and joined the Army when World War II broke out. And you can see there's different pose photos. I don't know if that's someone in France. I, I'm, I'm guessing there's, there's a cool, cool photo of that gentleman there. We also have, you know, these are stage photos, but if you could get them where they were and where they served... And a lot of these are out. And a lot of these are just more of the family photos. I don't know what that is. But it's cool. There's guys behind a brick. And there's a dog. There's just... They love swimming. This family loves swimming. And you can tell by old, how old the cars were. It's cool stuff. I don't know if I have a lot of photos. It doesn't look like there's many more left. But if, if, you, get, if you get old photos... Um, they are pretty cool. They are pretty awesome. And there's, you know, just, just stuff like this. And then you could find maybe the school or if that's, that's actual school or just a regular old baseball team. They're all cool. But the, these are great. These will tell you everything you need to know. Photos are great. They, they do sell. If you, if you can't, if you can't find out who they are, you can sell them. And people do collect these because these are pieces of history. These are awesome. We love looking at these. And we'd like to thank each and every one of these gentlemen and their family for their service. And that's all for today on Great Fun.